Facebook never released Llama publicly, but Llama has been leaking a long and a lot of people have trained or fine-tuned Llama using other data sets like Alpaca. But none of those models could be a permissive license because Llama was never released. And in fact, even if Llama was released, it's not going to be an open license. And that is where we have got a very new interesting model called Open Llama. So unlike everybody else who took Llama, the leaked model, and then tried to fine tune it on Alpaca and every other data set that was available, what Open Llama is doing here is they have released a model called Open Llama with permissive license. Yes, the model has been released under Apache 2.0. What does it mean? It means it's a permissive license, open source a reproduction of Meta AI's Llama. What they've done is they have tried to reproduce a model. They've tried to recreate a model that is as same as Llama. It's not just that they're claiming it to be as same as Llama. They've also released the benchmarks or the comparisons which we can use to see how this model performs. Before we look at the numbers, let's look at what they have done and what is this model about. What they have done is they have used a data set called Red Pajama, which is released by Together. So Red Pajama was an initiative where Together tried to reproduce Llama training data set that had over 1.2 trillion tokens. So Llama training data set had 1.2 trillion tokens. Red Pajama by Together tried to reproduce the same effort, tried to recreate the training data set. Now these people, what whoever has released Open Llama, the Open LM Research Group, has managed to use that particular data set, the red pajama data set, and they try to recreate Llama, which is what they are calling as open Llama, an open reproduction of Llama. So they are at the first, like right now today, as we speak, they have released a preview, a public preview of 7 billion parameter open Llama model. This has been trained with 200 billion tokens. Now you might ask me, hey, didn't you just say that Llama had a 1.2 trillion training tokens and you're saying that the model that they have released, the 7 billion parameter model has been trained on only 200 billion parameter to tokens. That's right. So right now, this is why it has been called a public preview model. But as they improve the training, as they train more, they're going to ultimately have the Llama completely reproduced using 1 trillion tokens. But for now, we have got the 200 billion tokens um, or the 7 billion parameter model open Llama that has been trained on 200 billion token. I hope this clears about what is the training data set that was used. In terms of releasing the model, they have released PyTorch weights and JAX weights. We have already seen about JAX. JAX is another deep learning framework that gives you, that lets you use computation, accelerated computation platforms like TPU to do things much faster than what you typically would do on PyTorch on a GPU. So they are releasing PyTorch and JAX weights of the pre-trained open Llama models, the 7 billion parameter model and also the evaluation result. The model weights are already available on Hugging Face Model Hub. You can go here, click the files and version, and then you can see first they have got an easy LM format weight, which is approximately, you know, 14 gig file. And also they have released the typical transformers format. So if it is transformers format, that means you can use Hugging Face Transformers to use this model. So the model weights are available in two different formats. One is the easy LM format and the second one is the Hugging Face Transformers format. You can read about more on that here. But for now, as we go further, we can learn about what kind of things that they've done. In fact, like if you want to know the architecture and all these details, you can go refer the Llama paper. So this is how their training loss look like. One of the interesting things that I found here is that the original Llama model was trained on 1 trillion tokens. The GPTJ, Uluther AI's GPTJ was trained on 500 billion tokens. While Open Llama was trained only on 200 billion tokens, when you compare it with this, these look very small. But what we can see from the performance result and evaluation is that sometimes 
the open llama is quite comparable with original llama and gptj but sometimes it also outperforms them in some tasks and that's exactly what you can see and you know that means that when they manage to train the same model on 1 trillion tokens this is going to be much much better the three tasks are metric here the model 60 uh, G, gpt j 6 billion parameter model from illusor ai llama 7 billion which never got which got released um, not publicly and open llama 7 billion parameter model the preview 200 billion tokens when you see this thing this is being compared with this so even the 7 billion parameter model you can see this one is quite closer to this one in fact like in many cases it easily outperforms 6 uh, gpt j 6 billion parameter model but also in some cases you can see this overall you know doing much better than the other models like for example for this particular task or, or metric this has scored 0.38 while here it is just 0.36 it's i think it's an accuracy of a task and you can see the benchmark and then you know that means this is definitely not a bad model in any means and the fact that this model weights have been released and it has been released with permissive license it means i guess now a lot of people will start using this particular model instead of using llama a lot of people would start using this particular model to fine tune with uh, alpaca or any other data set and create new versions of vicuna or dolly or any other model that can come out with permissive license this is this is an amazing development in terms of open source large language models so what is the future plan for them the future plan for them is to focus on completing the training on the entire red pajama dataset which is as we know 1.2 trillion tokens so they want to train on the entire dataset so that you have like an exact apple to apple llama comparison model and that's in fact like they've used the same apple to apple llama comparison model also they want to train a smaller model so that this can help in low resource use cases like deploying on edge devices if you would like to contact them or support them for the development you can reach out to them but overall this looks like an exciting development kudos to the researchers kudos to the group community called open lm research i would love to see what the community is going to do with this thing given that the weights have been already released i can see a flurry of new fine-tuned models with permissive license popping in in the upcoming days it means a lot of new gpt for all a lot of new vicuna could come in and those models could come with permissive license which means if you want to use it for commercial purpose or if you want to use the model uh, for any activity commercial activity like retraining and selling the model that would be completely possible thanks to open llama if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting